new, our new band called the Winos. And sit. Welcome to our casa, and today we're making a veggie polpettone. But before we get started, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell for new notifications on future videos. Polpettone essentially is a very large polpette, which if you watched our polpette video, you know it's a meatball. Polpette can be made with not just meat, but with fish and with vegetables. Essentially, you can look at it as a meatloaf, a meatless meatloaf. So in our veggie polpettone, there will be lentils and mushrooms and a beautiful sofrito and some shredded zucchini, all combined with some binding ingredients, and it's going to be delicious. First things first is we're going to prep all of our veggies and we want to get them to a nice minced consistency. We're gonna use one carrot, a few celery sticks, one onion, and I'm also gonna be using 10 ounces of mixed mushrooms. I'm using a white button and a cremini. And then with the zucchini, instead of mincing it, we're going to shred it. So just use your grater and shred down that zucchini. All right, let's get cooking. In a large saute pan, let's add some olive oil. I have two garlic cloves finely chopped up. Now our sofrito, beautiful minced veggies. Just gonna add a pinch of salt. After five minutes, we're gonna add our shredded zucchini in. After another five minutes, we're gonna add a half cup of tomato sauce. After about two minutes, we're going to take it off the heat and put it into a bowl to cool. Lentils, so I cooked about 3 4 cup in about two and a half cups of boiling water. Uh, came out to about two cups when they're fully cooked. And what I'm going to do in the mixture with all the other vegetables is I'm gonna take a cup, half of the lentils, and put them straight in. And then the other half, I'm going to blend them down to a nice puree. Also, when you drain your lentils, Save the water, always, just in case. If it gets too dry and you need a little liquid, this is the best solution. So put that other half of the lentils into your little chopper or food processor, whatever you got. Another ingredient we're gonna grind down is one cup of oats. These need to be quick cooking oats, old fashioned oats are best. Once all of our veggies and our lentils are ready, we're ready to start assembling our polpettone. Let's add our oats, a half cup of breadcrumbs, I'm using panko, some chopped parsley, one tablespoon of soy sauce, I'm gonna use a few dashes of Worcestershire sauce. This is not vegan nor vegetarian because it contains anchovies, but they do make a vegan version, or you can just completely skip this step altogether. I just like the flavor it gives it. Just like a meatball or a meatloaf. Dig in. You can start to feel if it's gonna hold a form if it still feels a little liquidy, add more breadcrumbs. If it feels too dry, add the liquid that we drained from the lentils earlier. You always give it a taste and add more salt if it needs. A little fresh cracked black pepper. Mix that up. Awesome. Time to make the glaze. 
For our glaze, we're going to start out with two tablespoons of tomato paste. Then we're going to add one tablespoon of white wine vinegar. Next, we're going to add two tablespoons of maple syrup. Now whisk. And after it is fully combined, it's ready to go. All right, before we start assembling, you know what time it is. Be in a time, be in a time, be in a time, be in a time. The wine we're drinking today, it's called the Vermentino. The most famous Vermentino produced in Italy comes from the big island of Sardegna, Sardinia. But Vermentino is cultivated in many, many other places in Italy. In Liguria, for example, uh, where it's called Pigato. In Piedmont, where it's called Favorita. Or in Tuscany. And it's the wine that we're drinking today. We're gonna drink a Vermentino from Tuscany. More precisely, our Vermentino is made in Bolgheri, which is a small area nearby the coast uh, of the Maremma in Tuscany, south of the city of Livorno. Bolgheri is a very, very prestigious, relatively young appellation for red wine, Sassicaia or Ornellaia, or more generally Super Toscan. That's where they come from the Bulgari area. 10% of the Bulgari wine production is white and the Vermentino that we're drinking today is part of that 10%. There's also another appellation called Bulgari Bianco and usually 70-75% of the Bulgari Bianco contain the Vermentino we are drinking today. The wine we're drinking today is called the Vermentino Campo alle Comete. Please do yourself a favor, go visit their website because it's a great experience. It's a very kind of uh, Wonka, Harry Pottery kind of website. The estate and the property are very modern and incredibly beautiful. And let me spend a couple of words about this wine because first of all, we want to thank you Scotto's Wine Cellar, which is our restaurant neighborhood next door on um, Core Street in Brooklyn. Thank you so much for uh, giving us the opportunity to taste this wine and for suggesting it to us. And the importer and distributor of this wine that brings it from Tuscany to New York via imports and our brother, our friend Antonello. Antonello. Antonello, thank you. So I am very, very excited for this reason and affection that tie us to this um, Vermentino to try and see what uh, we uh, are going like, to experience. Ready? Yes. All right. Ooh. It's delicious. Fantastico. Mmm. Now that I have my wine, I have oiled and lined my loaf pan with some parchment paper. We're ready to assemble. Preheat the oven to 75. Our meatless papatone. It actually looks like a papatone. It kind of looks like meat. All right, are we ready? Yeah. Nothing wrong with this. Mmm. <laughs> yep. Don't miss meat at all. Hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, please like, 
this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell for notifications on future videos. And just leave us a comment and say hi. I don't know. Bye.